Hey. It's drawing time. I'll be honest. Um I well, this isn't anything new. I just got home not too long ago. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what we're going to be drawing today. I haven't really thought about it too much. Also, how's my volume? Yeah, yes, I did have a protein shake and then shower. <laughs> yeah, saving dinner for after stream. Uh, Grandma Pascal is over again, so um, my my stepmom's <laughs> cooking something. Oh, yeah, so I'm all. Uh, uh, Lucy Goosey, I guess. Wow, I hope you're excited for this drawing stream. <laughs> this is from um, actually the the first past part two stream. I do want to do more past part two, but um, I did not have time to make. Uh... I don't have time to make a new like little asset for the stream. So the paintbrush and palette it is. I think it'd be a bit louder with its personal taste. Okay, uh, let's see. Does that include the BGM too? Let's see, my mic is already at negative three dB. Okay, um, I'll put the BGM up like how about to ten, negative ten. You tell me if this is too loud. Too loud? Okay. Sorry, sorry. How about negative 15? Yeah, 15, please. There you go. Um, I put myself up at... What were we at? Negative 3? Let's do to negative 2.5? How's my mic now? You vibing? Could do negative two. Okay, bump it up a little more. Okay, hopefully that's not too crazy. Um, let me see. I might have to let me shift myself actually just a little to make room because I need space to draw. <laughs> I like it. Okay, good, good, good. Well, hmm. So again, I didn't really have anything planned in terms of like what we could draw today. Uh, hey, welcome, Chozo. potentially do. I would thought, like, oh, maybe I'd just draw me. But I also feel like I have more interest in drawing other uh, other characters or VTubers. So maybe we do that. But I'm not sure who we should draw. Hmm. Think, think, think. I guess maybe for a warm-up we can just draw me, and then once I feel a little more comfortable, um, we can maybe pick someone to draw. So I'm not sure. How should we? How about, um, I guess we can just start this 
something. Let's put down lines. This is kind of... Okay, this is not bad. Six, six size brush. I like drawing with um, no pressure pen lately, just because it forces me to focus more on like the, the drawing and less on um, like line quality or line perfection. A bit of a perfectionist. Hi, Kiko. Welcome. Um, let's see, how should I draw myself? Maybe just draw it. <laughs> How about like uh, maybe like a cross-legged sitting pose? If I have a hard time talking while drawing, just know it's because I oh, my eraser is not great. Let's fix that. Yeah, if I have a hard time commenting, it's because I'm I get lost in focus in the drawing process, so. My meditative state. <laughs> this might not be totally correct, but as a rough, we can just go with it. Um, oh, maybe it should be this way. Draw, draw me like drawing something, but I kind of just want like a just a cross legged chillin'. Today, by the way, because Photoshop is my main art program of choice. It's, some, it's the one I'm most comfortable using. Figured for the first art stream, we'll just work with what I know, and then we can do future streams where I'm playing around in other programs. Like I wanna definitely wanna learn um, Clip. I've used Clip Paint Studio a little bit, uh, mainly for like work stuff but never for my own personal illustrative work, so when I am in the mood to learn, I think that's when we'll go to it, but just to chill out and draw, we'll just use what I know. GTG would know a lot about Clip Studio Paint. Ooh, that's good. I'll ask, I'll ask them for some tips. I do have like a lot of um, brushes and things saved that other people have shared online, but you know, I don't use Clip enough to actually go and download them. It's their main squeeze. Let's see. Yeah, 
prior to Photoshop, I was a paint tool sci person, but then I had to switch over to learn Photoshop for, uh, for school. I'm not sure how I feel about this arm. Make this leg should also a little bit further out. Oh, meta bang. I don't think I've ever used meta bang before. <laughs> works works right depends on the day, but usually I'll, if I don't know what I already have something, or when I don't have something in mind, my god, my brain is already like, you can't multitask, Calico. You're gonna make this so difficult for yourself. But depending on the day, uh, sometimes I work really loose and just like really messy like this to kind of just envision and build up the idea of what I want. And then sometimes I just have a good idea and I can just like bust it out, like, no problem. Yeah, I'm not using any references here right now. I already have, like, um, a ton of things open for stream, so... I mean, I'm pretty sure my computer can handle it, but just to be safe, we are, uh, freestyling. Okay. If, actually... This is this way. This would be this way. So let's fix that. Oh, good. Contrapasto. <laughs> yeah, no, no references on my end right now. one hand on the knee and have the other hand just on the floor, like leaning back. I think that works better. Like this. Uh, but then I gotta lean back a little bit more. Push it back. Adjust the angle of this arm a little bit. Here we go. I like this. Though, in terms of perspective, I think then this would come a little bit more forward. Like, uh, perspective. Once I like get a a better idea of like the gesture, then I'll go in and do the construction a little bit more. So right now everything's kind of kind of flat. It's also kind of hard to see things. Also, just to make things easier on me, I know it looks small on screen for you guys right now, but um, I kind of work zoomed out just to get the big picture, because if I start zooming in, I'm going to focus too much on details. I know this is like so super messy, but I promise it'll look like something <laughs> eventually. I 
me see the big picture first. looks kind of looks more relaxed. Move this back a little more. Then we can start building the face a little bit. Or like the expression. Right now it's just purely very loose. I know I said I wanted to draw another VTuber, but maybe we'll just finish this up and just have it be a one and done drawing stream. I think I want to do like a another request stream, though, no, because I did requests for past part two the last time. So we can do a request stream in the future. So thinking uh, maybe we could just like turn out a bunch of little assets like streaming assets in the future as a drawing stream that way I don't have to keep doing them like an hour before stream starts if you guys have like ideas of different kind of assets I should have for stream, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do like to focus a lot on the... I mean, I feel like that this can be said for a lot of other people who do character portraits or character illustrations. It's kind of drawing the, the face and having it come to life is always like very rewarding. The most rewarding part. because this is like both simultaneously uh, kind of calming and zen but also like I think my brain is still running on adrenaline from the gym so I'm like in focus mode I 
I don't wanna spend too much time trying to fix like focusing on this. So again, this is just the this is just the roof. Just the roof. Oh gosh. You gotta cool it on the creatine? For your information, I don't even take creatine. <laughs> protein. I used to take pre-workout, but I, I also stopped that as well. I just figured if I need caffeine to work out, I'll just have tea and coffee, you know? out horror stories whoa like what just getting like two turn watch one of the co-workers literally vibrate from pre-workout <laughs> yeah it's it's not yeah, you gotta be careful with that stuff and I if I'm gonna have caffeine I would just rather have tea or coffee you know why why have I have a, a thing that's probably just like mixed with a bunch of other stuff. Sketch too much. I think this is good. Just it a little bit. I think this, the chest here, should be a little bit higher. So we get more of that. Yeah, it's a little too much. A little bit of like the, like looking up perspective. And then in that case, her. a little bit more so they're not directly in line with the arm. Let me 
see. I'm gonna cross my legs real quick just to see how this works. Yeah. Best reference you have is your own body. <laughs> um, let's see, I... If this is my right leg... So the right leg comes... I, oh, I put my... I put my right leg in the front and then the foot goes under. And then left leg... So actually it would be like... Uh, okay, and we are looking at this the other way. This is the right and then this would be Kako's left. So... Right leg... Oh no, I'm, I'm technically doing it right. But this left leg comes in front here. This would be like this with the other foot at the bottom. <laughs> no, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Can I... Well, I guess it's not technically wrong if I have the right foot in front. But the... It seems like the foot... Oh, the foot still goes under. <laughs> if I lean back like this... Um... I guess it's not incorrect. Okay, I'm actually okay. Somehow I somehow I managed that. I managed to figure it out. Just by instinct. Lucky me. Mega calico? Mega calico? I play backseat artist. What if you have yourself <laughs> that has robot legs and the laser cannon? I will put that into consideration. Existence has definitely used his body as reference. Maybe you could ask to him to show you sometime. Oh, like what to see his <laughs> reference photos? <laughs> I definitely um, have taken pictures of myself with my phone just to use as reference for drawing. And then those are always kind of funny to look back on, but I usually delete them like after I'm done with the piece cause when I don't need it anymore. Because I don't want people to be like, why do you have like. 10 different photos over your hands at different angles. Now I go really light with that gesture drawing and then I start solidifying it a little bit more. Um, at least with something like this, I think it requires a little more focus on the construction. So we are going to do that now. And I still keep it kind of loose, um, but let's see, maybe, do I want to go, do I want to stick with black or should I use a different color to help visualize this a little bit better? Let's use blue. Like a, I guess this is fine. Okay, so I kind of had some construction here, but we're now going to this a little bit more. So I actually put the chest pointing up like this. You should be able to see. So this would be if this were a 3D object, which is what we're kind of trying to imply here. You would see this is this is like the this area here is like the bottom of the the rib cage or I guess like the diaphragm. This is this also has dimension here. So do like this. And this would also technically be the other side. I don't know if this makes any sense, but So the neck would sit right about here. And then the shoulder connects right here. This side bit. So here, this part from the armpit to the chest, this is where the where the breasts would be. That's where the engine and batteries sit for Mecha Calico. 
Yeah, um, this, this kind of like um, construction, um, it reminds me of um, Metaton from Undertale. His design kind of looks like that too, where he's like, you know, do a quick Metaton. I don't remember his which way the hair goes. I think it's like this. And he's got the, the downturned eyes like this. And, and his, his neck. His hair is kind of long like this. And then he's got the, like, his, his robot chest is literally like this shape. Just like this. And then he's got the, oops. It's like a like some dials here, I think. Or one's a one's a speaker and one's a dial, I think. If my memory serves me correct. And then his his robot arms are like this. And then he's got a like a I always assumed it was like a glass case. And then the soul is like inside right here. <laughs> I I memorized Metaton's anatomy because I I, I like I really like how simple a metaton shapes are. It's fun to draw. So then the arm. Uh, let's see. I want it curve here and the curve here. I won't get to see the too much of this curve. And then a straight, straight. shoulders are starting to pop out <laughs> from the gym, which makes me happy. Straight here. This is the, the armpit. That should be like totally straight. It's just kind of in comparison to this part. You wanna you wanna contrast curves and straights. Curve straight. Oh, I don't think my my forearms are that big. They're they're getting big, but they're not like crazy big. <laughs> oh, we got on the shoulder press. Um, I think shoulder press. I'm doing about uh fifty. Pounds is my PR, but um, like 40 is like a comfortable weight where I'm like pushing, but I'm not like killing myself. 50 is kind of difficult. I feel like the BGM is slightly louder than you are. Occasionally hard to hear me. Okay. It's a distance from microphone thing. Oh, yeah, I can bring the BGM down a little bit. Sorry, I have to put my mic to my side because I don't have room on my desk. Um, so I'm not speaking directly into the mic, and I can't put the mic in front of me. <laughs> but I will bring down the BGM a little bit. How about like a th oh, uh, how about uh, how about like 17? Hopefully that's okay. But let me know if I should adjust it a little bit more. I can totally do that. It's fighting less for sure. Do you want more? Yeah, it's just more so like a a technical thing I can't fix with desk layout. I don't have a microphone arm, so my mic is sitting off to the side. And obviously I have my big tablet in front of me, which you can't see. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate the feedback. No mic arm because of space, or no, I just don't have one. I just don't have one, period. Draw the other arm over 
here, or the shoulder. It didn't pop out too much. Life is hard in an aquarium. <laughs> Get one that's water resistant. True. drawing I kind of had it um, I had the hand placed on the knee but it kind of like the idea of it like kind of relaxed like a more relaxed look like this here as well but that's okay I mean I guess this is kind of no I want I want this to curve to show like more of a loose shape More curve, more mass, let's go. Oops. So I don't know how much we're gonna see a lot of this anatomy in the end because the arm is out you don't see as much definition I think because it's a little more relaxed She's leaning back, the curve is coming from this way. And then we have a bit of a pinch here on this side. Because then the. So let's see. My direction is going like this. There's the belly button here. And then the pelvis comes out this I should bring the pelvis forward a little bit more. Also, I might be just quiet in general because I, as I'm speaking and drawing, I'm kind of just like mumbling to myself. So, my bad for not being more um, loud. The tummy is sitting right under the the diaphragm and also right into 
the pelvis like a little socket, ball and socket. Yeah, pensive calico. Um, so now I'm thinking the pinch is a little too high. Be more like this. Not this belly button it should be this. There you go. Maybe, oh, I hear a little creature knocking on the door. Just give me one moment. I might as well uh, turn on the light too while I'm at it. It's starting to get dark. I will be back in a second. Let this little creature in. If he hears me, he can hear me calling him. Two one on thirty minutes. Two to one. Oh, how long creature will stay in here? Yeah, <laughs> depends on if uh, Grandma Pascal has already left or not. I think um, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to lower the opacity of the body for now in blue. Lower the, the base sketch a little bit more so that way you guys can see how we'll build up the, the legs. So I'll use red this time. So pelvis is coming forward like this and the legs would be connected here. Here. Something like this. So, here's one leg. This would be the upper thigh. I don't know why I erased that. Oh, this red is kind of too bright for me. Darken it a bit. strain my eyes less than yours. So thigh one and thigh two. Let's show how the thigh connects to the pelvis here. Of the perspective, the oops, both legs um, are, I guess, her right leg is gonna come forward. So, be something like this. So, this is the knee right here. when I'm drawing to 
draw out the construction lines because it helps visualize it a little bit better. It makes it feel less flat. So for example, this leg, if we can think of it as a tube, a tube coming towards you, right? The, the further end is going to be smaller, and then it should get bigger with perspective as it's coming towards you, like this. So. But even so, you gotta still remember that there is flesh on this body. <laughs> Naturally, like the way legs work, it's like it tapers out around the ankle anyway. It's knee and then the foot, right? So that's where you kind of have to break the rules sometimes. to the camera. I am going to actually pull it this way. It actually might even look shorter, I think. Thinking. Because then the foot The, not the ball, the like the back of your foot, the back, the because you're no, 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 that's wrong because this is this part is where your ankle would be, so the back of the foot would be here, and then also, yeah, and you have to think about shapes. So if the bottom of the foot is facing the camera like this. This would be where the ankle is connected to the foot. And then the top of the foot is like this. Oops. Yeah, and it would it would taper about here where the ankle is. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes, yes, construction lines, I guess. Is of course shorter. Yes. <laughs> oh, the heel is. Is that the heel? Is the. Is that. Is this the heel? I guess it is, isn't it? Away from stream for one second and oral about legs. We're getting there. We're getting there. See, I have drawn the tube here. We're just simply uh, constructing right now. Also, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's just for my sake, because this foot shape is not going to be very clear when I'm wearing shoes. <laughs> Actually, I think foot would be longer than this, even. Off the canvas, oh let's grab everything and move it up a little.
we can probably still imply perspective with just the line width because no matter what, the leg is going to have to taper here. So it doesn't make sense that it would look like this. And actually this thigh, it looks like it's not as long as what I originally intended. In terms of distance, I believe this part of your leg and this part of your leg are usually about the same length. And same with your arms, from your shoulder to your elbow and your elbow to your like fingertips. I'm pointing to my own body as if you can see. <laughs> If my memory serves me correct, they're generally about the same length. Actually, this is like this. Forget leg day, it's tube day. I gotta work on my tubes. Achilles tendon connectial to gastro 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 <laughs> Put to forearm. That's the only same length thing I know. Put to forearm. Oh, like in terms of in relation to each other. Might be. basic shapes and you can always fix it later. showing too much of the top part of the foot and not the entire bottom of the foot. But you might not even be able to see this part here. Thank you. 
as you can see when it comes to building up the sketch can take some time a lot of revisions again just to see. Hi Noni! How far does my foot go if it's across? Oh no. The uh, right foot, right leg, in front, like this. Um, let's see, right foot in front, and then the left leg. Okay, I see what my problem is. This foot is actually much closer to the other foot when I feel it. It's like this. Um. Yeah, right, right foot. Right foot is going under left leg. So actually, I was wrong. This foot is coming under this one, and the left leg is in front. <laughs> Wait, no. Because this is... Okay, I have to imagine, if the camera is in front of me, you would see the right leg first. Yes, the, yes. <laughs> the other leg looks like it's... It, it feels like it, but it's not. Can... Actually, bring it up a little bit. Oh no. It's because the shoulder is up, this one has to come down a little. Let me bring the other one up a little more. Because it's propped up on the other leg. Okay, that feels better. There we go. So this has oh yeah the 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 knees don't actually go all the way down as I'm sitting cross-legged for my own reference. Knees kind of come up a tiny bit. They're they're supported by the I guess what would you call it like the ankles or the feet. <laughs> the EP. Oh, it's just because I'm looking down. I could take a reference photo just to give myself a better idea of what I'm working with. Not that any of you would see it. I can take a quick one. Let's see. Okay. Flip the camera around so I can see what I'm looking at. Oh, it's so dark under my desk. Oh no. I I can... Like this. Uh, my arm does not stretch far enough to really get a, get a good peek. <laughs> but actually, I think 
just from that quick look. This doesn't point out, it points towards the direction of the camera. So like this. Or, yeah. Toe is under the bottom of the foot. Something like that. It helped a little. I will refer back to myself. Maybe when we get into the cleanup stage. Also, these in this perspective are also kind of whack. to look at myself I'm kind of like let me see if I can get a better look okay okay so I was completely wrong because I'm- I think I'm confusing myself looking at- trying to imagine it in my head and what I'm feeling versus like what- how me crossing my legs actually looks like. Let's take a quick photo. Just for myself. <laughs> it's so difficult, my arm is not long enough. Oh, and the camera flipped it. Now this is even more confusing. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> camera, you're so wild for flopping your images all the time. But it kind of looks like I'm on the right track, if I can imagine this flipped the other way. Uh, let's go back to the upper body for now. Styling a lot of this, but references really are my best friend. Mm -hmm. 
One of the things um, my old art teacher used to tell me was to be careful to not draw balloon heads, as he called them. I read a manhwa where the artist draws balloon heads. You know what it was called. <laughs> oh, but the artist does it. I see, I see. Here, 
legs might even look a little bit shorter due to the perspective. <clears throat> there are titans that have balloon heads. I've not watched Attack on Titan to know. See what you mean. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the Teen Titans go do have balloon heads for sure. So I want the wind to go this way. So draw my braid first. That's not going to be too affected by the wind. Good thing I'm on camera so I can look at myself for reference. Going to do more streams finishing this piece? Yeah, I probably will. 
just because I think it'd be interesting to watch. A little creature is looking at the door. Was that 30 minutes? I feel like that wasn't even 30 minutes. No, finish in one stream. I don't know about that. I'm so slow. <laughs> I'm being, I'm being too precious about them right now when we're still just cleaning up the sketch. It's not supposed to be so perfect. I'll go calm down. Welcome. You're Max chillin'. That's good, Talden. I think I'd have to push pretty hard, but you can kind of see- oh, you can see a little bit here. I'd have to zoom in, but the bottom of the brim of my hat, it's it's blue. It's like a light blue, and it's got little polka dot patterns. One tiny detail you might not be able to see. too big. You wouldn't see too much of it. Something like this. I think you would see more of the back, actually. Ooh. Yeah, I guess if we were to draw through, it'd be kind of like this shape. Maybe even that's a little too. 
too high. Like this. I think that looks okay. Maybe make the brim not come up so much. Lower it a little. I think that's better. Yeah, and then you can see more of the more of the top of the hat. too much. Or can you? Yeah, like a tiny bit. Maybe like this. Yeah, it's not a very noticeable tidbit design thing. <laughs> you can't really see it. I, don't, I can't look up too far for you to be able to see it. Photoshop freaks out sometimes when too many things are happening. memory stats. Oops, my hair's not that long. It's, it's, it's not that long. It's like, I mean it's short, but it's like long enough that you wouldn't be able to see it like this much. Can't forget the tail. We had the tail drawn. I actually don't think you'd be able to see it that much. 
maybe just like that, that bit of it. Just again. Or maybe rather that way we can have it curl up like this. looks better. Like it's connecting to me, which by the way, the arm would be hidden behind this knee. This. Which I then think this arm could even come out a little bit more. the head a little bit. selfies. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's looking better. Hmm. Just a perspective. Oh 
look <laughs> well look at how wait me combine the legs and the pop layer here look at the difference between this and this it up a little bit. I think actually the head could go a little more. Looks like she's falling back too much. Oops. Yeah, the, whoop, how come I can't? Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. Yeah, the first drawing is a good gesture just to get the idea in. Now we've started solidifying things a little more. So now we can even go another step further. Oops. By the way, I should probably save so I don't lose this and that'd be very sad. <laughs> Yeah, now um, we can start adding, roughing in more details of like the other parts of the clothes. Um, let's use a different color. Oh, have a purple. I also realized benefit to this angle um, that I didn't intend was that you wouldn't be able to see my necklace too much because <laughs> my necklace just has like a lot of detail and even I don't like drawing my own necklace sometimes. So let's see, um, where should we start I guess, the, the sleeves of my jacket. They come down like this. Whoops. I guess in this situation we can have this one a little bit lower. Like it's kind of loose. to the arm.
one seems really long in comparison to this side. And then the, the overall belt goes over this tank top portion here. The problem that I have with drawing sometimes is like my attention span is just so short. Like I start, like I start to get bored <laughs> at a certain point. And that's why it takes so long sometimes for drawings to get done. Because I just want it to be done. Yeah, 
Yeah, just have the computer do it for me. You're so right. <laughs> and now I have to pull up a, a rough of myself because I need uh, I need some more visuals. Body image. Okay, my sleeves. My sleeves go down to my elbows. I could look in the mirror, but photo is just handy to get a perspective of like what you're seeing, you know. up here. If you actually remember, um, I'm going off topic now, but you remember Alice from the Off Collab? A long time ago, she and I used to get into call together and just, uh, well, we'd call it like study, study streams or like study calls where we would just like work on our own things together while in call and then you know, just listening to the same music. Relaxing, but a lot of times not super productive because we would get distracted and start talking about <laughs> other things. You've never done study calls with a friend? it can be helpful. I guess it just depends on who you're with. Alz and I have too much fun. We get distracted too easily. <laughs> a bit of a 
also like, um, how do you describe that? I guess like, uh, a bit that kind of, you know, like on a sweater with the sleeve, like this part, there's usually something similar on this end. sweater or a hoodie. I don't have much to study anymore. I'm not sure people want to hear me just play. <laughs> Same skill for 30 minutes. You'd be surprised. not sure how far the seams go. I'm pretty sure they go all the way down, even. Maybe the... there's like a part that starts here. And there's a bit of a little... Uh, a folded part. Ruffles still have to follow the flow of the body. Casually having ruffles follow a curve. Yeah, that's just how it works. Oops. Oops. Ruffles are kind of fun to draw. Because it's just like, um,. more lines and suddenly it's like wow ruffles like magic Thank you. 
Hmm. Uh, then I forgot the the other overall strap. Actually comes out from down here. So it can maybe Yeah, we'd have to go over the all this. Come down this. I think it would sit on the leg and go over. Excuse me. Actually, I didn't even realize the strap up here. Stops pretty early. Like up here. And then there's like a second bit which is attached to the hook. shorter. the ruffle skills. He, uh, he doesn't want good looking ruffles. Just a little bit. 
works better. And just fix this part. shoes the shoes have a bit of a I've got a pretty big bottom so I have a little extra height The sandals do make me a bit tall. And on this end, you would see the bottom. <laughs> it's cool seeing it go from form and then now close on top. It's like magic. <laughs> I think actually I need to zoom out a little bit because I'm going off the page. I'm going to resize everything. Just a little. Give myself more room to work.
Gracias. Makes you think, inside each and every one of us there's a skeleton. It's almost time for the skeleton war. The season is coming. Yeah, so these are the toes here. So the uh, let's see, there's like four straps on the shoe. There's like the back piece, which goes kind of high like up here, and this connects to the back. Where is it like something like this? And then, and now there's a brake piece here. There are multiple pieces. There's one like this. Back piece, which is also something like this, I think. Shoes are very complex. And then the side strap, and then the biggest one, which is right above the toes. Sneaker sandals. That would be correct. Uh, yeah, the. I don't, I don't know shoe terminology. But there's this part. Here, that's like this. And you can't see the place where the laces go because of this perspective. I was drawing it in, this part. does look like a bill, but I thought the, the part that's like closest to the, the toes would be considered like the bill. You know, like a duck. Like this. It's a duck. Oops. He's a duck. It's the beetle. Internet says it's a tongue. Whoa. I wonder why a tongue. if it's called the tongue. The tongue on my shoes, they're shell-shaped. And then also there's like a, a rope ribbon back here. Or detail, I guess you would call it. Yes. 
muscles come out this way. Oh, actually they're not this long. Or at least in perspective they're not. They wouldn't be. It'd be like eight to this right here. Oh, welcome, Bucky. Thanks for popping in. I am just mumbling to myself while trying to get all the details down. This drawing. you would see the, the shoelace bit just a little bit. Yes. And then the shoelaces are you know, like here. I've never done like a. I haven't gotten to work on my reference sheet in a bit, so I have I haven't decided on like a final design for the bottom of the shoe. <laughs> Am I intentionally named after the scientist? Uh, somewhat, yes. <laughs> that would be the correct uh, namesake origin. But there's also um, another another sea otter <laughs> that goes by that same name, and that's where the name for them came from. So it'd be safe to say that yes, I I'm also technically uh, named after the scientist, partially. <laughs> Uh, from Animal Crossing, there's a, another sea otter named Pascal. <laughs> then Calico comes from uh, the Calico Scallop. Sea otter, and I like scallops. Oopsie. Well, I guess it would be they crisscross like so. Something like that. If only I was related to Pedro Pascal. Maybe that'd be pretty cool. I do you think this is pretty solid for blocking out the clothing shapes? Good. 
Pedro Pascal ever comes to the stream, the name is an homage to him. Are we all on the same page? <laughs> yeah, my long lost relative, Pedro Pascal. He kind of looks like a sea otter. <laughs> He's got the he got the, the the right hair color, I think, and then like the stash. I know this is a really dumb question, but would you ever do an interview? Like, if someone were to ask me to do an interview, I'd be down. Speaking of uh, interviews, um, so there's there is a VTuber interviewer by the name of Domo Ariga Thanks. And I've watched a lot of his interviews, where he interviews VTubers. And he has a special stream um, on Sundays called Domodachis, where he invites like VTubers uh, randomly to come up and talk and chat for a little bit. Not like a formal interview, but just kind of like a just like a just a little just a little chat. And I never. I, I, when I had Sundays off, I would go and watch them, but um, now I work Sundays, so I've ne I don't have- there's like zero possibility of me ever getting on a Domodachi's. All Pedro Pascal related questions are on the table. And thanks for telling me, you're welcome! Thanks for asking! I mean, that's not to say that I would only accept an interview from Domo, by the way. <laughs> I'd be down to do an interview. Mm. I only answer Pedro Pascal questions. My knowledge on him is very, very brief, so there wouldn't be much to answer. <laughs> little creature is sniffing the door. Hold on, let me... I'm gonna disappear again for just a second. I'll let little creature out. This little creature is insatiable. Yeah, he do be looking like a little rat. <laughs> I think he was sniffing the door because he smelled something yummy. Grass type? No, it's a grass, grass water. Grass water hybrid. Otherwise he, he would not survive in the aquarium. Mm -hmm. Haven't heard of Domo before? Yeah, Domo is... I would say Domo's pretty popular in the indie VTuber scene. Um, mostly because it came from, I, I believe, a bit that everybody just- VTubers just like to dunk on him, and vice versa, he likes dunking on VTubers. But he's a really cool dude, he's really nice. Yeah, I, oh, I guess I could define my hairpiece a little bit. do ambitions and ideas come up on his stream? Um, do you mean like other, other, like in terms of when he's asking or interviewing other VTubers? Let's see, I 
think it comes up pretty often. I think a lot of the common questions are usually like, um, depending on what kind of content they do, you might ask something like, uh, why they chose to do that content or what makes, what inspires them or how they get their ideas. And then I think they usually have a section where they get to show off their, their body a bit. Their model. is kind of good as is right now. So let me get rid of all this junk on the sides here. And then let me combine these once again. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna make it lighter just so I can see it. Fine. Look, this is original gesture, and then this is the drawing with a little more construction to it. I do like <laughs> the innocent look of this one. So pure. This one's a little more cheeky. Um. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very family friendly. Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Our actual NSFW creator interviews on Pornhub. Very safe for work content. I mean, that's good. I feel like the more that you can inform people, the better. Let's see, well, okay, now that we've done the construction a bit more, we can start trying to line art. I suppose it's time for final lines. This is the part where it's gonna take me like 5,000 years. Oh, it's actually already 9.30. You know what, maybe we'll save line art for another time? And we'll just call this, uh, we'll call this the end for this stream. Your stream music almost put me to sleep, and now I'm hungry. Why do your streams do this to me? I always pick a good time. And I'm hungry too. Watching your streams is definitely a better idea of using a few hundred YouTuber artists. Number one weakness is jumpstart a passive rapper to find stuff. Oh, uh, unfortunately, no Costco rotisserie chicken tonight. We don't have it in the fridge. I already checked. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I do believe. I mean, part of the nice part of Domo streams is getting to be um, exposed to a lot of different VTubers and their artists stuff that they do. Here, we can at least, um, let me see if I'll do the little, a little something as we finish off the stream for tonight. Just to thank all of you for joining me for our first drawing stream. Sorry, it was... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I I feel like it might have been kind of kind of slow. I'm I'm just a slow artist in general, except when it comes to uh, whoops. Except when it comes to doing like little itty bitty doodles like this, where I don't really think too much. Oops. 
I'm I'm tired and hungry and I can feel my my attention span slowly like draining. <laughs> I put so much focus and construction, but now I'm I need to I need to refuel. definitely continue this piece. I won't I won't touch or I won't go into line art until the next time we come back to this. But maybe I'll, I'll maybe I will make some adjustments to the construction if I look back at this later and I'm like this is totally wrong. But for now I think it looks pretty alright. You were too relaxed. Let me see. Yeah, just a little doodle. Uh, oh, I'm glad. I mean, I don't... I don't know if I'm... <laughs> if I'm qualified to teach, but... Hopefully, maybe you picked up something. Anything. I don't know. Uh... Well, thanks for dropping by, Bucky. My mind is like a little creature, yeah. I, I opened the door to let him out and I smelled... I smelled the smell. And I'm hungry. <laughs> See it through the avatar. <laughs> it wants out. Be the creature. Uh... <laughs> Ooh. Go grab some mm, McDonald's fries. Yum yum. So thanks for dropping by, Opaque. And thanks everybody else for watching. So we can look forward to line art. I, yeah, I feel like line art by itself is just gonna take so long. So probably good that we just did all the all the rough work and sketching today. So next week, um, I need to work on it. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed, because uh, I'm not going to be able to stream next week, so I'm trying to get a video out for you guys. So I'll let you know if uh, how that's coming along. And then the week after that, I think I'm just taking a break on the 24th. And then I'll be back the week after that. I need a little, I need a little day off. No calco for two weeks. I know. I'm. I know. I. I. I didn't want to, but uh, something's coming up. So I am busy, busy otter. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, hopefully, I'll have stuff to report when I return. <laughs> Otter New Year. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrating a, a special, special time. Otter New Year. <laughs> August 24th. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Good night. Hope you go eat something good. Bye 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 See ya Chozo, bye N2 Existence, bye Alden, bye GTG. Good night everybody. See ya Quaker.